you know, since we're on the topic of dick size, well, I do like big dicks, but it's very important how you use a big dick. A lot of people think, I think a lot of men think that, you know, oh, you just have a big dick, it's going to feel good. No. Yeah. I, I appreciate regular size dicks a lot too. And being in porn, you know, you think that every man, like every male performer out there is like big monster cock. Jules Blue gets fucked by big monster cock yeah. seven times. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, then no, not there's a wide variety of dick sizes, and it all really comes down to how you use it. Now, I I do like to consider myself somewhat of a size queen because I like to be filled up. I'll just leave it. At that. I don't know how I don't know how X-rated we're getting in this conversation. You can get as X-rated as you want. But um, but also I've been fucked by big dicks in porn where it doesn't feel good because they're not using it to its extent. I don't know. I don't, I feel like some people have like, you have to have a body awareness, I believe, like mm -hmm. with something, you know, large equipment like that. So you got to like be aware that yes, it's large and I, I can't just penetrate her uterus. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I wanted to ask you about, but I'm so sad to see that you do not have it today is your lesbian manicure because oh, yes, I do not have it today. I unfortunately. Thought, I thought I knew everything in porn. I'd seen and heard everything. And you, <laughs> you were the first person to introduce me to the lesbian manicure. I'm sorry, folks. I don't have it today, but typically these two nails are very short for the ladies, but I haven't had any lady time recently, so. Is that because you, like, didn't have any girl-girl shoots coming up, so you're like. I mean, um, like, like, like even when I don't have girl-girl shoots coming up, I typically do have them short because then when I'm doing my own content, you know, but just, I don't know, this time, I, just, I forgot to tell my nail lady, and she was, like, almost done. I'm like, oops. If, do you ask her specifically for yes, the lesbian I'm like, manicure? I don't know. I just say, can you make these two shorts? Like, and does she ask you, like, why the fuck do you want those shorts? I don't know. I ha Sometimes I'll get, like, someone who's, like, young in the salon. I'm like, I have a girlfriend because I, I do have a girlfriend. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it, I don't know. I just feel like it makes it, like, more enjoyable because, you know, in a girl-girl scene, if you can't, like, finger the girl that you're working with, I don't know. Then what's the point? Yeah. Like, you can only do so much. And I'm not going to, like, stick my, like, nails into somebody and I don't know like it's just not me I also like consider myself like kind of a top when it comes to like you know girl girl femme on femme dynamics like I see myself as the more dominant energy so that's why I'm like I, you know I gotta be respectful to the ladies <laughs> <laughs> what are do you have a preference over being with men or women or like what are the differences you know, I don't really have a preference. I definitely feel like I prefer women more because, I mean, they're beautiful, they're soft, they smell good, like, they're soft. I don't know. I feel like when you're, like, having sex with a woman, you know, you can go forever. I could go forever. Like, I've had some nights where we're going for, like, over four hours just because I feel like, you know, when you're – making love to women it's more pleasure based like our goal isn't always like you need to have this giant orgasm well orgasms are amazing but you can have like small multiple orgasms or like just i don't know play around it'd be crazy I don't know. <laughs> what would be your advice to men on like how to please a woman uh, besides the obvious, like, communication, asking, I, I see, like, a lot of, like, sex advice, like, how do I tell my partner this without coming off this way, or, like, someone actually, I did this story thing on my Instagram, someone asked me, I didn't answer it, but somebody asked me, like, how do I come, tell my partner I'm very kinky without coming off as a creep, and I feel like people just really don't have that comfort, I guess, talking about sex, because, I mean, I'm so desensitized to sex and, like, nudity that it's just very normal to me. And so I just, it's kind of like strange for me to hear like, oh, like, I don't know. I feel like communication is definitely key. And, you know, people think that you need to go hard for things to feel good. And that's not necessarily always true. Like, I feel like, you know, the female body has a lot of erogenous zones, like, you know, just like skin touches, like the inner thigh, like the outer labia, the clit, nipples, like all those things, just like, like starting very soft and slow, I feel like is always like a good way to like start in my opinion. Yeah. I think you brought up a really good point about the different erogenous zones because I think a lot of men are just like, okay, vagina and that's it, you know, or like, like the tits neck and that's it. It couldn't even be an erogenous yeah. zone. Like all like the, you know, like the pheromones and everything that we release during sex while we're kissing, like the pheromones and saliva, like 
I don't know. I feel like when I, like my ideal like sexual time like starts with like, you know, massage. Like that's why women like massage because it kind of like, it gets us all loosey goosey, loosened mm -hmm. up. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. For me, it's definitely like the back of the neck and my shoulders. Like that's 100% my erogenous zone. So like if my husband like does a massage first and then like kisses me really lightly there, like runs his fingernails, like I'll like that will that's that will I like that too. Crazy. I like I like back pets. Like just mm -hmm. pet my back like I'm a cat. It yeah. makes me purr. Yeah. No, but it feels amazing. Lots of kissing too. I think kissing's important and I don't know, just like also there's definitely wrong ways to eat pussy. I feel like a lot of people they're like, I love to eat pussy for the for my pleasure. And I'm like, no. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm glad you enjoy it, but you shouldn't be eating pussy just for your pleasure. You should be doing it for hers yeah. as well. And I feel, I don't know, I've had some bad, like, cunnilingus experiences where... What would constitute, what are, like, some bad practices? I just, I've had moments where I've had, like, just the guy, like, in between my legs, and he's just, like, his tongue is just there, and he's just drooling on me, and I'm kind of like, <laughs> I'm kind of like, okay, like, I've had somebody, like, I've had this happen on set a few times, both man and woman. And I was kind of like, well, every time it happens, I just sit there. I'm like, this is happening. Where they like take, I'm going to show an example of my finger. They take their lips and they do this to my labia lip. They're like, they're like sucking on it or pulling on it. And yeah, I'm just I, like, when that happens, I don't know. And I, I don't know. It's just, that's not it. And I feel like a lot of people <laughs> learn bad kind of lingus from porn. Like I swear to God and bad sex practices because Porn is very much um, a fantasy and it's also like a performance. Yeah. So you'll see a lot of people do stuff that's over the top that like isn't that like might look good on camera, but doesn't actually feel good. Like like one example that I use all the time is like the girl like slapping her vagina like or the guy, you know, oh, what yeah, I mean? the, the whole like. Yeah. Or like like, you know, like really like who I don't how, know. I, who I, does that feel I good like for? I like to do like a little tap. Just no, I'm like, talking like the slap. Oh, my yeah. gosh. No, because it's like this like very aggressive over the top oh, move. Yeah, I could see that. Or like being fingered and they're just like. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Like when guys like it really try to make you squirt or like, oh. It does not. I hate that. I hate it when they're like, I'm going to make you squirt. I'm like, I'm like I don't, I, 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 this is not fun for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think definitely like, I don't, when I think of like how you could practice your, your cunnilingus techniques while eating some fruit, like cut up with a peach. I don't just like savor the juices. I don't know. So would you, so for, and I guess it's different for everybody, right? Cause every yeah. girl is different. Like I like it really soft. I don't like it hard at all. If you go hard, it's like my, it's like my vagina kind of becomes numb almost. It's like a defense mechanism. It's like, whoa. And then it's it just like, like shuts itself off. So for sure, it's all about like gentle touch for me. What is it? How about for you? I like gentle touch for sure to start off because I feel like it kind of eases me in. Yeah. And I feel like just, you know, starting right off the back, like too intense. Yeah. It just like, it's like zero to 100. And, you know, sometimes that's fun and all when like you're like really like hot and heavy for it. But I think if you would like really want to focus just like on pleasure, then you need all that warming up. Mm -hmm. Like I think it's really important because like, I don't know, that's how like, the vagina like lubricates itself. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not like a biologist, but I mean, I know enough about my but body. I feel like you know so, about yeah, vagina lubrication. Yeah, I know, I know a lot about it. Um, you know, you need, that's like what gets you turned on and that's when you like start getting wet and stuff. And I feel like if you don't have that like moment to like, you know, do that stuff, then you're just not going to get that wet, I guess. Yeah. But then like, I know some people, not every, like every vagina is different. Not everyone like lubricates as much and whatever, like automatically. But I just feel like you need to like, you need to like, wine and dine. <laughs> <laughs> wine and dine the vagina. Yes. Wine to take her on a date. Like <laughs> get to know her. Get to know talk her. Talk about her feelings. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Ask. And also like know that every like pussy looks different. They're not all going to look the same. They're not all going to be like, I don't know, doll vaginas. Mm -hmm. They're all, some are any, some are outies, you know, some like are like fatter than the other. Some are. Like, I I've know. talked to quite a few <laughs> girls who had, who were self-conscious about their way, the way their vagina looked I'm, I'm, until they got into porn. And then they saw all the different variety of porn of vaginas and then found that like their fans, like, I mean, I find that 
for the most part, guys are just excited to see a vagina. Like they don't really care if it looks one way yeah. or the other. But I know a lot of people feel like, and so I've had like, I've met people who have been insecure about their genitals totally. and I'm like, I see so many, di- I see like a rainbow of genitals on a- <laughs> very often. Even when I go on Twitter, <laughs> I feel like I need to name the uh, episode that Jules blue, a rainbow of genitals. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Great. Sorry. I just had to put that on real quick. <laughs>